Hello friends, in this video we are going to explain you about the character handling, how the characters are handled, handled in the C programming uh, language. So C provides us uh, with different character handling functions uh, which are included in the header file ctype.h. So in order to employ those character handling functions, we have to include the header file ctype.h in order to incorporate those functions or in order to implement those functions in our C program. So we will just show you an illustrative program to show you to explain you how the character handling functions are dealt with in C programming. So let us get started with writing a program in which we will use a very easy concept, a very simple concept to uh, make you understand uh, what is a character handling function and how does it work in C programming uh, scenario. So let us uh, get started with writing the program. Hash include stdio.h then we are going to take another header file is hash include c type dot h so in string we take string dot h for string handling functions we take string dot h and uh, in this character handling uh, functions in order to employ character handling functions we take the help of this we include this c type dot h header file after the file inclusion directive above that is the stdio.h. Then we write the int min so after that we will give the opening brace and declare and declare uh, suppose a string is to be declared. So in that string how the string is being declared has been shown in my previous video. So the string we will declare a character array like this char str suppose 25 this is a string another is a character variable suppose it is ch and we can also take some integer variables like uh, suppose i and one by one we will take input from the user to be assigned into the string and one by one we have to our purpose in this program is to see like this suppose the string is like this a b c null character this should be converted to a will be converted to its capital B will be converted to its respective capital, C will be converted to its respective capital. So in order to make a caps lock representation, in order to uh, change the case from lower case to upper case or maybe vice versa, we can employ a function uh, in the character handling function header file ctype.h which is in this case we will use the uh, to upper function which will always character wise it will change the lower case characters to upper case characters. So, so we are going to employ this function and the analogous function which does the opposite work that is um, uh, when we just come from the upper case to the lower case can be done by another function which is called uh, which is called to lower. So, if you understand this to upper part you can as uh, also understand the to lower as well. So, now let us take the input from the keyboard uh, by the user. We are going to employ another string function in this case, another unformatted uh, input function. Suppose this is a very interesting uh, input function which is called get s by means of which we do not have to uh, enter. We do not have to enter the string by, uh, by entering character wise input from the keyboard. We will just write the entire string and press an enter and which will mark the termination sequence of the string and a null character will be put in that place and we will take the help of this function get s. So get s this is the unformatted input function which takes an entire string from the keyboard if we uh, give any space also from the keyboard if any blanks are also input from the keyboard blanks can be taken uh, into consideration while taking the string as an input in this way. So get is, is uh, quite an effective 
string input function unformatted uh, input function to be uh, used in the C programming scenario. So, get s str. So, get s str after that get s str we take the we get some uh, string in this in this str uh, array in, in this str string and now our work is to our work is to uh, use this character handling function to upper in order to just convert the lower cases into upper cases for that we will take like this while i i is equal to suppose it is 0 we will initialize the i to 0 while str i not equal to null character that is the termination sequence suppose this is the string suppose we write like this we write like this hello suppose the string is like this and there is a null character after pressing the enter the null character comes 0 1 2 3 4 5 so the string has a maximum of 25 uh, places the user has entered this hello and then press the enter so this null character is put in this fifth index so 0 1 2 3 4 is the string which is to be printed uh, which is to be uh, converted into its uh, capital into its uh, upper case uh, now that is to be done in this way so as long as we don't encounter this null character we write this uh, condition to implement that and we will do like this stri one by one this h will be converted to this e will be converted to this one l will be converted to this one this one o will be converted to capital o so how to do that stri is equal to we will employ this function to upper to upper t o u p p e r no spaces in between to upper and uh, in the parenthesis in the argument section of the function we will write this stri stri then semicolon so this stri is equal to to upper stri means whatever is in this str ith position will be converted to its uh, upper case and then that is to be assigned into stri back so stri will be updated to its cap counterpart this e will be converted to this cap counterpart capital e in this way we will do this thing we will do this operation so this is the way in which we convert the lower case into upper cases now we, if we go on to print the if you go on to print the entire string then we can do it like this the string printf the string in upper case is new line we are going to employ the opposite of this function that is this is the get s function for input and we will write like this put s put s is the output analog of this get s input function put s str so we print the put s, uh, we print the string in the caps lock form. If the initial was like this small hello, it will be capital, it will be uh, printed in this way. Capital uh, letters are used in this hello. So the small lettered hello will be converted into its uppercase and the uppercase string will be printed by this put s str expression statement after that we are left with only return zero statement and then put a closing brace to end this section to end this main section so in this way we can deal with characters by employing different character handling functions uh, in this video we have explained two upper so two lower is quite similar to that in my upcoming videos i will go on to describe the other uh, character handling functions as well like um, there is alpha is lower 
is uh, digit is upper there are so many character handling functions in the ctype.h we will show you one by one in my upcoming videos so if you have any doubts or queries to this uh, program you can well post your doubts or queries in the comment section so that i can address them thanks for watching my video